We were sitting here and there's like five or six or seven police officers surrounding uh, a U.S. veteran that fought and died for the Constitution. Well, you know, wait, what? The hell did you just say? Officer, how you doing? Merry Christmas. I'm doing good, man. I'm Officer Mata with Pasadena Police Department. Officer Mata, Pasadena Police Department? Um, one second, for the record. Um, I need a Supreme Court. Um, as you're aware, Supreme Court says you have to form, uh, show three forms of identification before I can contract with you. Um, I need a business card, and I'm gonna need a, um, uh, badge number as well, sir, for the record. Oh, for the record, on the record, let the record show the lad beside you that actually passed away. He seems, um, doing fairly well. Now, mind you, this is an older video of five years ago. I just wanted to have a look at if the sovereign citizens have changed. Or matter of fact, they actually gotten worse. This guy ticks all the boxes. Well, apart from Emma being detained, of course, but he is better than the new ones. So enjoy. Badge number is 4325. Listen, man, the only reason that I'm stopping you is because you have an expired tag, bro. That's it. Yeah, I actually don't have a tag. And this is, uh, for the record, um, what was your name again? I'm Officer Mata. Officer Mata, may I shake your hand? No, sir. Okay. Officer Mata, um... Well, you gotta love that handshake refusal. For the record, you just got put in your place, little man. For the record? Indeed. Mm -hmm. I am, um... This is a United States Army. Um... Well, thank you very much for your service, sir. Yes, sir. Um... That man is the entire United States Army. Well, you know, I don't think Wordy Bits is his best part of his brain, so... Yeah, there goes another one. For the record, this is a personal good. I'm not commuting commerce right now. Um, I'm not actually, according to Texas Transportation Code Chapter 201 Subsection K, I'm not, according to law, have to have a tag on here. Oh, well, excuse the fuck out of me. I, I thought you were driving on a uh, public road. Uh, oh, wait, you are. Well, it seems your point is moot. <coughs> no moot. <coughs> well, you're the moo expert, so <laughs> that shuts me up. I was actually going to, though, for the record, because I do commute commerce in this automobile. Okay. okay? So, let me show you for the record. So this, this is uh, the man that started the For the Record, On the Record, Let the Record show. I'm pretty sure about that. He seems to be the source of all trouble, as the record shows. What does he think this is? Some kind of courtroom? I mean, they always think their car is the courtroom and they are the judge and, uh, well, something about beep beep, court is in session. What's going on here? Oh. This automobile, for the record, not vehicle, not motor vehicle, but automobile, mm -hmm. non-commercial motor vehicle. So a motor vehicle that is on a public road, which requires license registration and a brain to operate. None of which are in possession on your part. And that's not even mentioning their complete lack of plates, not even private property plates. What is this, amateur hour? Was just purchased. Um, and I'm not going to answer any questions, officer, just so you know. I'm not going to answer any questions without my attorney here, okay? I wish to engage that. Uh, there's that. I, I will engage my Fourth Amendment that keeps me safe in my person, my property, my papers against illegal searches and seizures and unlawful detainments. I wish to in, engage in my Fifth Amendment. I'm not asking to look into your car. Okay, in my Fifth Amendment, for the record. Said, the only thing that I said was that I was stopping you because it showed on my computer that your tag was expired. Absolutely. The only thing I was going to do is ask for your driver's license. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not here to violate any other kind of rights. Okay. Right. But and again, for the record, I'm not, I don't have to have a driver's license to commute okay, in a personal good. Again, I'm not going to answer any questions, officer, with all due respect. Huh, <laughs> respect. You don't even know the meaning of that word. And is it me or does his passenger actually uh, look like he's completely fed up with this nonsense? Every time, Bob, we're driving along the road, you're going to pull this shit. I just want to go home. All due respect. Shut it. <laughs> for the record. I, I, I'm a blue supporter. Thing, yes, sir. And, and I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Okay. But may I stop? Yes, you, you may. You may stop at any time. Dipshittery is not something you should continue. But here we are. May I take a deep breath for a second? I, you have a, you have a gun? Sure. And I'm very... Going to poop your pants or, you know, under duress? Is that the word you're looking for? I don't think he knows the wordy bits. I'm kind of disappointed, mate. It... Does that make sense? No. Ha! <laughs> of course it doesn't. That people get, yeah. Okay. 
hold on. I'm going to take four deep breaths. What's your last name, buddy? Um, again, I'm not at liberty to give that to you. Okay. Um, you were here, your, pardon me real quick, for the record. You pulled me over for a infraction. Correct. Okay, infraction. You're a policy enforcer under a contract. The contract is for commercial, is for commercial use. The, the contract. Officer, what was your name again? Officer Mata. Mata. I want to just keep, you keep receiving treatment for the record, okay? Well, first of all, for the record, let the record show, on the record even, you do not know how video works. If they say it once, it is on your video. They don't have to keep repeating the same thing over and over again. Maybe you have to, so you are in the script, but no. Normal people do not have to keep repeating the same thing over and over again. That's what people do who are in a cult. Pardon me, I want you to keep repeating it for the record. Officer Mata. Uh, I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a supervisor here. Now, you probably need a psychiatrist or, you know, someone who can uh, shuffle your brain back into your skull because it left uh, 10 minutes ago. Okay, listen, man. Like I said, the only thing that I'm asking for is for your driver's license. Now, okay. now if, if you are refusing... I'm not, pardon me, I'm not refusing anything. For the record. Stop it! I am stating law, Title 18. United States Code, but te Texas Transportation Code, Chapter 201, Subsection K, Officer Mata, okay? Oh, Officer uh, Mata, okay. That I am in a non-commercial vehicle. I am in a, what the Supreme Court calls a commercial, a personal good, okay? They said that any personal good is not subject to license and registration. Murdoch versus Pennsylvania, any state may convert a secured liberty into a privilege and issue a license and a fee for it. Okay. okay? Schulzberg versus Birmingham, Alabama officer Mata says that if the state does engage in that, I can engage in my right with impunity. Does that make sense, Officer Mata? Are you are you telling me that you're refusing to show me any form of ID? Again, I'm not here to answer any questions without my attorney present. Okay, so uh, let's do something, man. Why don't you go ahead and just place your phone down and uh, step outside for you. Um, negative. Uh, Officer Mata, I'm not, I'm not refusing to do anything. But didn't you just refuse to step out of the vehicle? Pennsylvania versus MIMS requires you to follow the orders of the officer that is doing the traffic stop with you. Meaning you have to get out of the car and you have to provide all the documentation with the car, license, registration, identification and, well, <laughs> the brain. These dick flutes don't know how to brain. Well, you know, the guy in the car with him is probably not a dick flute. He's just like, come on, man, can we just get, go home? It's Christmas. I want to get home. See my family? Stop it! Never gonna ride with you again! Yeah, I need a supervisor here before we contract. Okay, I, I, I again, again, sir. I'm not gonna contract with you. And, okay, that's fine. I wanna talk to your supervisor, sir. Thank you so much. And I do appreciate your service. This man right here, is this your supervisor? And you're telling me that... Howdy. Howdy. Can I have your name and badge number for the record, sir? How you doing? How are you? Good, sir. I'm sorry. You're a public servant, correct? Sir? I'm sorry. Are you a public servant? Depends on who you're asking. Okay. Did you swear no to the Constitution, sir, of the Pasadena? And did you who did you get sworn in by? I guess is my question. Who did I get sworn in? Yes, sir. Chief of Police. Okay. Who is that? Is that is that Chief P uh, Pathel? Who? Chief Mathel? Yes, sir. Okay. My I'm a I'm a dear I'm gonna tell you guys this. I'm a Deer Park citizen. Okay. My my mayor. Uh, Jerry Mouton, this is all the information I'm going to give you guys. That I am about to have a meeting with Jerry Mouton, the mayor of Deer Park. That's all the information. I'm just going to go, go right ahead and uh, call utter horseshit on that. <laughs> Indeed, cow. Also, impeccable camera work. What, what, what is this? Face cam court? Uh, Grace Community Church, right now. Everybody, That's it. Can I see your title again, please? Absolutely. And, officer, what was your name, sir? Officer Thornton? Sir, it's a pleasure to meet uh, you. You're not Maria Mendoza, are you? I'm not Maria Mendoza, no, sir. Okay. Officer Thornton, for the record, may I have your badge number, please, sir? Yeah, I have badge numbers. Oh, just, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Officer Thornton, may, may, I, may I speak to you, sir? Yeah, okay, I'm late. Wait, are you the supervisor? or? Okay. Whenever the supervisor gets here, go ahead and let him speak to me, and that's who I'm going to speak to, sir. I, I, I appreciate it. I will tell you, I was born and bred in this, this right here, in this uh, land right here. Deer Park, Texas. 
Holy dog shit. Texas only steers and queers come from Texas, private cowboy. And you don't much look like a steer to me, so that kind of narrows it down. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas. I don't want no trouble. We're just moving and so again, to the you're right so, to travel. You're so refusing to, to... I'm not refusing anything, sir. ID, no, sir. No, sir. You're Absolutely not. not. No, sir. Okay, do you have a driver's license? I'm not refusing. Hey, guys, for the record, I'm not refusing anything. You know, so, sometimes I wonder if the brainy bits on these people actually work. I mean, they are operating a vehicle, so something needs to work there. But outright refusing to do anything the officers require of you in terms of documentation requesting you to step out of the car and and here here we have mr man over here telling them he's not refusing anything while we're refusing absolutely everything they ask of him is that the officer i know they i know this gentleman. let me speak to the to the let me speak to the sergeant real quick i'm for the record i'm requesting a supervisor is that the supervisor okay is so you're the man of authority Yes, sir. I'm, I'm okay, we're I, again. I'm requesting a supervisor. I'm okay, I'm, I'm not going to talk to you until supervisor gets here, officer. Okay, you Fair to enough. To Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm not trying to cause you any trouble, but I'm trying to get home for Christmas, man. You know, officer. You know, uh, Jerry Muton is the mayor of Deer Park. They do Bible study at my dad's house right here. That's great. Okay, I'm we're just saying. Gina, really I know. Nice. I know that. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to go to point A to point B, man. Yeah, you know how you got from point A to point B a little bit quicker by having everything in order and not dilly-dallying around like a dick flute. You can understand that. Okay. The right to travel. Let me get my documents. May I reach back here? No. Uh, right here? Any There's some... No, I don't have any weapons. Okay, well, no. No, you see the papers? Back. That's no, no, legal no. documents. The papers okay. right here. The papers right here, sir. Okay, but don't reach back there. Officer oh, Thornton, may I get them papers right there? No. All right. You asked me to show you identification and stuff, right? Right. What you told me that you... He asked me to show him identification. He's he's telling me I can't grab the legal documents that I have to say who I am. Now, this is an officer's safety thing. You're not supposed to grab around in the car, meaning the back seat of the car, the dashboard, underneath your seat, anywhere your hands can do things that are not entirely seen by the officers. And now you're making excuses. What kind okay, of for the record, that's legal documents right there. Do you see those in your sight? May I reach back and grab those? You can grab those pieces of paper. Okay. Yes, that's it. All right, I'm going to go very slowly. I'm going to reach back here and grab these guys. Okay? Like this, right here. I've got them right here. Okay. Right here. All right? Now, let me show you these. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's going to read them, isn't he? Page one. Okay. Officer Thornton, for the record, I would you like you to hear this too, guys? For the record. U.S. Supreme Court and other high court citations prove that no license necessary uh, for normal use of automobile and formal ways the right of a citizen to travel upon highways and to transport his property thereon by horse-drawn carriage, wagon, or automobile is not a mere privilege, which he has under right of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, conditions normal travel himself in an ordinary condition and decent, decent manner. Okay? In a decent manner, neither interfering with nor conducting himself is, is anybody else's rights, okay. will be protected not only in his person, but in his safe conduct, okay? okay? Thompson versus Smith, okay? I want you to hear this. Thompson versus Smith, 153 SE 57911, American Jurisprudence Constitutional Law, Section 329, page 1135, the right of a citizen to travel upon public highways and to transport his property thereon in the ordinary co course of life and business is a common right which he has the right under life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, guys. Uh, that he will be protected in his safe conduct, Officer Thornton. Protected in his safe conduct against police and he will be, his liberty will be protected. Protected by you guys. Right? In, in order to doing an ordinary usual conveyance of the day and the under the existing modes of travel including the right to drive a horse Yes, and you are allowed to drive all those things, but not on public roads, buddy. You need a license, registration, and a brain. Not to mention license plates, valid ones, and not those private property vanity plates either. Uh. Officer Wiley, how you been? Sir, I remember you. You pulled me over a long time ago on my motorcycle. How are you? Here, sir. 
Sir, pardon me? I can't hear you. What's that? I said a long time ago. Uh -huh. um, my name is Eric, by the way. Okay. I'm not refusing anything. Okay, is that that's officer said for the record. Okay, uh, this is Officer Wiley. Yep. Um, I do know this man for the record. Um, uh, aside from the the contract that they're trying to contract with me right this evening. So, Officer Wiley, let me explain to you what's going on. How do you know? How do we know each other? Um, I believe you pulled me over um, on my motorcycle in 2014, and I. Oh, answering questions, are we? For the record, on the record, let the record show. I believe that was you or you were there or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I pulled anybody over on the motorcycle, but who knows? That was a bobber. That was me. But look what happened. Okay. Two rides, ten screws from it. <laughs> Anyhow, officer. Um, I was telling this gentleman and he walked away when I was reading him Supreme Court justice. Okay? This is what's going on. He told me about, he pulled me over for my tag. Okay, I don't have a tag. I told him, I said, well, I do commerce in this vehicle, this vehicle, but at this moment, it's a vehicle. It's not a commercial motor vehicle. Okay. So I haven't registered it yet. Okay. okay. So, and by law, and, a, and Supreme Court says by law, Officer Wiley, I don't mean to take your attention, but I need your attention if you don't mind. Um, the Supreme Court says that no personal good, this is a personal good, has a subject right to get license and registration unless you consent to it. It's a personal good, it's not subject to it. So, I was explaining to him, I do believe in it for commercial use, inspections, we have to have safety on our roads that our gasoline tax pays for, but I was telling him the law, and I have that right here in front of me, because I figured, I just, I just got this car a couple days ago, and I figured this might happen. So I said, let me just print it out. So, the right of a citizen to travel upon public highways. Oh, come on, he's gonna read it again? Or more? How many pages are there? I'm gonna speed you up. This is ridiculous. It has nothing to do with your current situation. Unless your car sprouts four legs and rides off. This is, we got a call from Marshall Smith, 153 SE 579 American Jurisdiction, Constitutional Law Section 329, page 1135, the right of a citizen to travel, to travel upon the public highways. And to the common transport his property thereon, in the ordinary course of life and business. It's a common right, which he has under the right to enjoy his life and liberty, to acquire his personal property, to, uh, to worship his God, to pursue happiness and safety. And includes the right and doing to use the ordinary and usual conveyance of the day and the under existing modes of travel. Include the right to drive a horse, drawn carriage, or wagon. They're on to operate an automobile they're on for un our usual or ordinary purpose of life and business. Thompson versus Smith, sir. Um, Tech versus Lyons, Danford. I, I mean, I can name them all the way down. So all we're doing right here is law, and we are moving in peace, sir. Just sit down one second. Yes, sir. Okay. Officer Wiley, if you could put your two cents in there for me. Yeah. Uh, motorcycle wreck. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right there off of uh, Pine and uh, Spencer. I, I was. That wasn't me. That was my friend. But I was on. That's where I saw you at. I was at the, ra the, the wreck on um, Red Bluff and Fairmont. Red Bluff and Fairmont. I went I went down on my bobber right there. I can show you. Okay. Yeah. Espinosa, uh, Espinosa, what, uh, what's your badge number? 2020. I've known this guy since I was a little kid, and he's we, we, we talked about a lot of stuff. But we're here today. Um, we're co quoting some case law of right to travel. Um, the Supreme Court case law of Thompson versus Smith says an American prejudice, constitutional law section 329, page 1135, the right of a to travel upon the public highways and to transport his property thereon in the ordinary course of life and business. <laughs> his body seems totally done with him. Look at <laughs> that facial expression. is like, can we go now? Just show him your stuff, mate, so we can go home for Christmas. Ah, yes. Let's see how that goes. And, um, I'm a, I'm a, you know me, I'm a Deer Park resident, man. Jerry Mouton's my mayor. Uh, we go to church with Jerry Mouton, the mayor. He plays bass at our, at our church, you know. I'm not doing anything wrong here, guys. I don't, I don't need, need to, you know, this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, well, so what did the other officer ask you for? He asked me for my ID. He said, are you, are you refusing to show me? I said, sir, I'm not refusing anything. I just don't want to answer any questions until, until uh, a boss gets here. I need a boss to get here. Well, he's so, on his way. So, yeah. So on his way. Okay. Espinosa, could you talk to the boss and let him know that, that I'm, I'm, I'm exercising my right to travel, man. I understand. You know, that. I've got, I'll tell you this, I've got no drugs on me. And I'm not even, I don't have to answer any questions to you guys, but I've got no drugs on me. I've got no weapons. I do have a, I do have, let me show you what I do have. 
have a um it's a little it's a one little box cutter. Okay, I'll tell you I got that. That's it. Which is not illegal. Yeah, yeah. So but yeah, I've got I showed the guy my 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 all my stuff and he's wanting my name. And I'm like, man, the Fourth Amendment clearly states the right of a citizen to be remain to be safe, sound, and secure in his person, his paper, and his properties against illegal searches and seizures, unlawful detainments, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Um so is this the boss? Yes, sir. What's his name? Sergeant Dunn. Sergeant Dunn, excellent. Yeah. I'll let him talk to you. All. Yeah, talk to him real quick. I'll, I'll be here. Thank you. Apart from the little fact that if you are in a traffic stop situation and the officer requires information from the likes of you, you have to provide said information. If he wants you to step out of the car, you have to step out of the car. If he wants you to stop playing stupid music and quoting stupid stuff from something you printed out from the internet. Ah, apparently he can't stop you from doing that. Sovereign citizens, man, the time-wasting pieces of shit. So we're here, um, it's Christmas almost, um, exercising our right to travel, and we are sitting here and there's like five or six or seven police officers surrounding uh, a US veteran that fought and died for the Constitution. Yeah, you heard it here first. He actually said that. He literally said that. Um, and this exercise in his right to travel. And didn't hurt nobody. There was no person or property damage. I believe here we have Sergeant Dunn approaching us. Sergeant Dunn, how, howdy, sir. Hello. How are you today? Pretty good. Good, sir. For the record, uh, Officer D uh, Sergeant Dunn, Pasadena Police Department. Um, Okay. I, I'm sorry, Let's officer. Make one thing clear. Yes, sir. You're under arrest. Get out of the car. Okay. We will use any necessary force. Officer Dunn, here's my, here's my credential, sir. Oh, Sarge seems pissed having to come all the way out here for some dipshittery. <laughs> You're under arrest. Hey, uh, can, no can, 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 what am I under arrest for, sir? For the record? Traffic. For traffic? Sir, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's an infraction. Sir. Officer Dunn, that's an infraction, right? That's a fraction. I'm not. I'm in. I'm in travel right now, guys. That's fine. Wait. Okay, here. I'll, I'll get out. I'll get out, guys. I'm gonna get out. I'm getting out, sir. Okay. No need to use force, guys. May I grab my stuff? You can. Yes, you, you can keep the car. All right. Let me go ahead and grab this. Y'all don't need to use force, guys. No, no need to use force. Can I take my my taco? You reckon tough guy citizen over here would have thought? Can I take my taco? Would have been his last words at stepping out of the car. Never mess with a pissed off Sarge. I can just imagine his body in the car thinking, and we're still not going home. I feel sorry for that guy. Got some better friends, mate. And on that socializing kind of note, remember to tickle the bell and all things around it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh, can I take my taco? I would have told them to leave the taco. No, no taco for you.